Well, today we're going to discuss uh, New Africa shipping rate, which is the new feature that we just released, um, where you're able to send real-time quotation to your Shopify checkout page and currently bid or buy. And then we're still working on um, having the same feature for WooCommerce. So now the shipping rates section used to known as um, Shopify, uh, I mean, shipping zones. So now if you go click on the shipping rate, the system will be able to show you all the history um, or in terms of what's been happening with customers when they check out on your online store. And then we have the new features I've mentioned is the real time rate. Um, with the real time rates, you can still um, edit um, few parameters um, per, per service level. I mean, for instance, we give you an option to use the cheapest rate between the two current couriers that we able uh, that we're currently pulling quotations from. We have courier it and the courier guy, um, and then you'll be able to even rename or, 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 or change the name of the rate. Um, so that's what the customers are going to see when they check out on your online store. Lead time, you can now um, do specify um, the lead time for your customers to estimate when they can expect the delivery of their parcels. And then you have option to show the, um, the lead time or to not show it. So if you just wanna see on the preview here, um, so if I were to disable that option, it means then the customers are only going to see economy door to door, then they will not see when the parcel will be delivered. So um, this is just an optional um, thing that one can use. And then we have an insurance um, option. With the insurance option, you actually have um, an option to display the insured um, the insurance uh, ship the insured shipping um, rate and um, or to display both or not to display any insurance uh, for your customers. Uh, and then we also have a handling fee percentage. A handling fee, that's where you can um, increase or maybe put up a percentage um, that the system can add on top of the shipping quotations that are pulling from the courier um, companies. So here we have an option to set up handling fee per percentage or per rate value. So in my case, I've added that 20 rand, uh, which means then the customers will see 120 when they check out. Yet really it means then the courier quotation is actually 100 rand. So if I were to not put any amount here, it means then the courier, they're charging me 100 rand. Yet um, if I were to put 50 rand, then it's going to be 150. So if you're happy with all the um, up, or with the updates, all you need to do is just to click the button to um, to save uh, what you've changed. So you can do the same with other sale, um, service levels like overnight and same day delivery, and you have option to disable and enable them. Okay. So sometimes it's just easy to display one rate for your customer. So fixed rates. Um, it, it's being there um, all the time. It was like our shipping zones. The fixed rate option, it just allows you to specify or to set up shipping rates manually, uh, whereby you're gonna have to decide now to say, if the customer is checking out on the online store from five to zero kg, I will set up that they are paying me this rate. Um, and then from there, you can go and check the rates um, that you can use to set up the shipping the, fi the fixed rate um, feature with on our um, website. If you go under pricing, you go shipping quotations or shipping codes, and then you'll be able to even see codes from all the different plans that we currently offering on New Africa um, side. Okay, so now you can use the tool um, on the right hand side. It says add a rate. If I want to add a rate for local or regional, I can use this. Um, options here to do so. Okay, so to add service levels, we can also add service levels. If you want to offer store collections or free shipping for any reason, you can also go and add more service levels um, with the fixed rate feature. And then um, with the, um, especially for WooCommerce store owners, we have uh, files that you guys can use to set up rates on your 
WooCommerce shipping zones. Um, so here, if you are in Johannesburg, you can export the file and set it up because currently we don't have the same real-time rate um, feature for WooCommerce. That is something that we're still working um, towards. So once we have that um, activated for WooCommerce, we'll definitely send a communication about it. Okay, so now if you, have, if you have any questions about how to set up shipping rates, you are welcome to give us a shout at you, uh, shop, I mean, support at uafrica.com or just call us on 1012-940-1060. Uh,